Oh, thank goodness you're here. I'm Dr. Hudno from Cone Health Sports Medicine at Med Center High Point, and today I want to talk to you about exercise for what ails you. So some general considerations for exercise, whether you have arthritis, are trying to lose weight, or you're healing from a stress fracture, it's important to talk to your doctor about what you can and cannot do. Uh, second thing I'd say is set realistic goals. You want to make sure that you start slow, and if you can only start by exercising twice a week, uh, that's great. Some is better than none, and hopefully you can build yourself up to doing five days of aerobic exercise and two days of weight training a week. And finally, I'd say find something you enjoy. You're much more likely to go through with the exercise program if you find something you enjoy, whether it's a Zumba class or running outside. So with any exercise program, you want to start with a light warm-up of about five minutes, whether it's jogging on a treadmill or sitting on a recumbent bike, before you start your stretching. With any stretches, Paul is demonstrating a calf stretch here, you want to hold them for 20 to 30 seconds, repeat them three times, and make sure you stretch the muscle groups you're going to be working out. So the first condition we'll discuss is arthritis. Now we know that both aerobic and resistance exercises tend to be beneficial as far as improving physical function and decreasing pain scores. Some of the things you might want to avoid are deep lunges, deep squats, leg press, vigorous running, and jumping activities. Some of the things we would recommend for arthritis would be to start slow, like doing water aerobics, maybe cycling or walking with low resistance, doing things like quad and hamstring exercises. Weight loss is attained through a combination of dietary changes and exercise. Most weight loss programs focus on aerobic exercise, though it's recommended that both aerobic and resistance exercises should be done uh, to help you lose weight. Some things to avoid when you're trying to lose weight with exercise, there's really nothing unless you have other conditions like diabetes and high blood pressure. If so, you should speak with your doctor about what you need to avoid. And the important thing to know is just find something you enjoy and start slow and work your way up. Though diet and exercise are both important in helping you lose weight, the reduction of calories does seem to be more important. To give you an example, a 250 pound person that exercises and walks about a mile burns about 150 calories, which is about the same amount of calories that's in a glass of soda. Exercise following a stress fracture really depends on the location of the stress fracture. With some, like the lower leg, it may be as early as two weeks in a brace that you could exercise. Others may require several months, and you may not be able to put weight on that. Your doctor will typically start with non-weight bearing activities, such as cycling or swimming, before getting you back into your running program. The major thing you need to avoid when recovering from a stress fracture is going back to your running schedule too quickly. You have to slowly increase it each week. For high blood pressure, it's critical that you speak to your doctor to make sure you don't need to undergo further testing before undergoing an exercise program, especially if you have heart disease. Now the most important part if you have high blood pressure is not to do really high resistance exercise or anything that you could only lift once. Paul is demonstrating the bench press and showing an exercise you would do one set of about 10 and hopefully work your way up to three sets of 10 but a light enough weight that you can do that many times. You should mix this type of resistance exercise with aerobic exercise such as walking, cycling, or the elliptical. Thank you for joining me. I hope I've been able to provide you with some tips for healthy exercise. You can go to conehealth.com sportsmedicine for more information.